Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today's uh, tip is really for those who teach literature at the upper secondary level, as well as those who teach the core classes in the first two years of your undergraduate education. Um, I want to have a little talk about your reading list. I want us to examine and think about this idea of what is really the purpose of a liberal arts education and what are you trying to produce when you have a student leave your classroom. The basic premise of an education is to allow individual students to develop their critical thinking skills and to become people who are better citizens, people who are kinder, who think more thoughtfully and who are generous in spirit as well as um, individuals who are able to improve the situation of our current society. Okay, so that's what you wanna accomplish, right? As a teacher, we all have those ambitions. That's why we went into teaching. We did not go into teaching to make a lot of money because we all know that's not really what's happening when you choose to be a teacher. Okay, your reading list needs to be 50% um, women authors, okay? That's just the start. Uh, why is this? Because women constitute 50% of the population. I am well aware that there are more texts written by men, but that doesn't mean that there are not quality texts written by women historically, okay? So that's for starters. So take a look at your syllabus, and if your syllabus does not have 50% women, you need to really update that. Secondly, you also need to update the reality that update your syllabus to reflect the reality that we live in a diverse society. And one of the most important things that you can convey to students is an idea that we're all human beings and that we can learn from each other. And so in this way, your curriculum also needs to reflect this diversity. Now, some might say, um, well, I'm, you know, I live in an environment or I'm teaching at a school where the majority of students are white, so I don't really need to do this. Do you think your students will ever leave that school? I, I have a feeling they might. And do you want them to be able to negotiate and to act in a certain way around different people of different ethnicities and beliefs and ideologies? Sure you do. So don't limit um, the literary diet of your student, okay? So you need to diversify ethnically and racially, um, spiritually, your curriculum. For example, I will say that I personally knew of a teacher who refused to have any reference in a cultural studies class about people who were not practicing um, or about people who were practicing the Muslim faith. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this kind of individual should not be in the classroom. It's completely inappropriate. She's still in the classroom, I have a feeling. Um, so this is what uh, students are up against. In other words, we have a population of students who need to understand one of the fastest growing religions in the world. And we have people like this teacher um, who is refusing to introduce any kind of literature or thought about this particular group of people. I know you out there don't wanna be that kind of narrow-minded teacher. I know you out there are dedicated and you went into teaching to be someone who imparts some wisdom, right? So uh, please diversify your list to include uh, lots of different kinds of people. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, well, I would love to do this. This is a great idea, but you know, that's not my area of expertise. I don't really know about these people or these ideas or this history. 
That's why you became a teacher, because you understand how to teach yourself too. In other words, self-educate, read a book, watch some film, go out and meet some people, ask questions, be curious. You might not know about particulars of, let's say, um, reptiles or uh, marine life or uh, the planets, but I'm pretty sure that if a bunch of students started asking you questions about this area, you would take it upon yourself uh, and start to uh, Google your little heart away, right? So I want you to take that kind of curiosity and desire to serve your students into other areas of life, okay? You're perfectly capable. You are a teacher. You can be broad-minded. Get out there, do research, learn some material, present it. And yes, you know what? You're not going to be perfect when you present it. But if you present it with a good heart, and if you present the material explaining to students that you too are learning, that you're all learning together, the students will really embrace this. So that's my little tip for today for teachers. Expand your syllabus. Um, think about curriculum really differently. Um, return to the idea of why you entered in the classroom to begin with and how you see yourself as a bit of an autodidact, as a person who can self-educate, okay? That's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and also my newsletter, Woman Warrior Writer, at drstephaniehun.com. Talk to you soon.